What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another one. And in this video, we're gonna be doing a little bit of a product review yet again on one of my new bait casters. And I'm very, very, th I'm thoroughly impressed with this thing. And I think you guys will be too. It honestly is somewhat into the budget space for bait casters, but we're gonna be reviewing the Abu Garcia Max Pro. And now this thing honestly has met a lot of my expectations that for $120, it's seems to be a very quality piece of equipment. And we're gonna talk about what I think of it. We're gonna jump into it. We're out on the kayak tonight. Sun's going down. It should be prime time fishing. We're gonna talk about it. We're gonna get into it. So let's jump into some fishing. So we're fishing with the Abu Garcia Max Pro today, guys. And this bait caster is a relatively budget bait caster coming in with a combo. You can get it in a left-handed or a right-handed size. This bait caster is a left-handed because I do like to reel left-handed with my bait casters. And it's a seven foot medium heavy rod, which honestly gives you plenty of backbone and more than enough power to reel your fish in, which is very nice. You know, you can get some budget bait casters where they don't really have enough backbone and you gotta be careful about that. Coming in at 120 bucks, honestly, it seems like a pretty good buy. I'm running 30 pound power pro. So far, I haven't had any problems bird net, birds nesting. We actually might have a fish on here. I think we do. Nope, must've been a weed. <clears throat> but I haven't had any problems birds nesting. I spent a little bit of a t I spent a little bit of time dialing it in, um, but honestly, just a couple casts and I was good to go. And I'm not throwing a super heavy, you know, super heavy lure or anything like that. I didn't try the weightless senko yet, which I'll probably get to that once I get it a little bit more broke in. But as you can see, I mean, super smooth, no birds nest there. And this thing has eight ball bearings, so the reel is honestly pretty much a highlight too. The reel seems to be pretty much pretty quality. I don't think there's really anything I would change about the reel just because with your budget setup sometimes they lack quality in the reel but it doesn't seem like it in this case um, the reel seems to be very good very quality oh, oh we're getting bit oh I think we oh no we got him we got him oh yeah we got him let's go not super big but we'll take that all night son well that was quite the rod flip right there but heck yeah just a little guy check that out right in the top of the lip perfect perfect hook set you guys can see that it really got the job done there um which is pretty cool but we'll send that guy back oh geez thank you for that buddy getting me all wet took my senko too but plenty of plenty of power on your hook sets you have plenty of drag with the reel um so it seems like they really didn't shortcut the reel at all and it seems like the rod is pretty good i like this handle back here I would say though that the handle probably could be a little bit bigger. I mean, it's it does it serves its purpose, but I can't really grip my whole can't really grip my whole hand on this thing. You know, it's just kind of there for a little bit of extra give when you want to go for a little bit longer cast. But it works. It serves its purpose. You know, I can see that they maybe did you know go a little bit cheaper on the end here. Um, but I suppose some people probably like that too. So it's kind of all, you know, preference that way. But the rod does seem to be made with quality parts. And obviously the white finish just looks so cool. You know, I like this little, like, uh, texture that they have here. It's not textured, but I do like the little graphic that they put at the first, you know, till the first eyelet on the rod. That looks super, super nice. Um, the grip, it's made of like a almost like a rubbery feel which feels pretty good in your hand i mean it's not it's not too much of a grip but you do have a little bit of a rib material on the bottom here to kind of just you know seat your fingers in which is nice i also did want to mention if you guys like this content make sure you subscribe to the channel because we have a lot more product review content coming in the near future and it's going to be good so make sure you subscribe let's get back to the action one of the tests I like to do for you guys, I'm going to set this thing about as perfect as I can. I mean, I do have the brakes up pretty high, but I just want to show you what this thing can do if I give it just my all. If I cast as hard as I can, I'm not going to put my thumb on it. That's pretty good. I'll try one more and I'll cast a little bit harder and see what it does. I'll even turn the brakes down a little bit. Turn the brakes down. Oh... Turn the brakes down to halfway. Okay, we'll see what that does. We'll see how much of an effect the brakes have. I haven't tried this yet, so if this goes good, I'll turn them all the way down for you guys. But I'm expecting maybe a little bit of a bird's nest here. Oh, that's not bad. I mean, actually, it went pretty well. And that actually did go significantly farther, too, with those brakes at half halfway. So we might... Uh, 
we're gonna reel this in and we're gonna try turning these all the way down and see what happens. I'm expecting a little bit of a bird's nest. All right, so we're gonna turn these brakes all the way down and we're gonna give it our hardest cast and see what happens. Oh, there it is. There's the bird's nest. Well, that's a no-no. Don't turn the brakes all the way down and cast as hard as you can. You're gonna wanna probably adjust it a little bit better than that. Okay, now we have the brakes turned back down. Casting with ease. Get a lot of distance on it though, even with those brakes halfway. I mean, that thing really can get chucked out there, which is pretty impressive. But all in all, guys, I mean, I'd give this reel probably, uh, you know, for budget, setup, $120. I'd say eight out of 10. I mean, I think Abu Garcia really has done something here. I mean, they've made a pretty affordable rod and reel combo for bait casters, and it does really well because if you guys have ever fished with a super, super cheap bait caster, you know that they can be kind of a mess to fish with. Not to say you don't need some thumb control with this guy, um, especially if you're gonna be throwing super light, you know, super light stuff. You know, I have a weight on my Senko. I'd probably be a little more scared to throw it weightless, but, you know, honestly, if you're going to fish with a weightless Senko, you should probably use a spinning reel anyway, um, which is why I threw a weight on it. Um, but all in all, yeah, I'd say 7, maybe 8 out of 10. Does really, really good, and I think I'll keep this rod for a long, long time. I, as long as it holds up over the test of time, which it should, it's, uh, it's, made, it's made from pretty quality components, so I don't see any issue as to why it won't hold up for quite a long time. Um, I'd say if you're looking for, you know, a bait caster in that range, I'd say you're pretty safe to go with it. I really, really like the white and black. I think it gives it a really cool look. Um, it's kind of just aesthetically pleasing. And I'd say, honestly, for 120 bucks, this thing competes with the Abu Garcia Veritas. And if you guys want to check out that video, I have done a um, product review on that, which I'll link at the top of the video. But honestly, I don't see the need to buy it. I feel like for 120 bucks, you can get something pretty similar and spend half as over half as much so i would definitely give it a look guys if you did enjoy this video make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you guys in the next one peace